This is the story of Azul Carter. Azul Carter was born in Australia. Azul's mother was Australian and his father was Jamaican and African American. His father was also a colonel in the Air Force. See, Azul Carter's mother died of breast cancer when Carter was only three. Carter ended up being raised by his father and his grandmother until they both died in a motorcycle accident. He was later raised by his older brother and his older sister. He started playing basketball when he was three years old, but basketball wasn't his first love. He was in love with soccer until the eighth grade. See, Carter attended NBA Global Academy until the summer of his senior year. He thought he wanted to make a new move, move to the States and start getting recognition on the AAU team, playing with and against some of the best players they had to offer. See, Carter moved to Georgia where he attended Pace Academy. Carter was very nervous about the move because he was literally lonely and didn't really know anything about the States. But Carter had to adapt. See, his coach took a man and let him move in with him until their dorm was ready. But Carter was ready. Carter was going crazy in the AAU and Carter started putting his name out there. Carter was rated a five-star recruit and considered one of the best players in the 2020 recruiting class by Scout.com, Rivals.com, and ESPN. See, this year, he wants to make a name he wants to make a statement and he want to make his parents proud. So we are gonna dive into the story of the one and only Azul Carter. Let's take two on a chase, put a fuck by in place. Tired, dragon, straight, leave a trace. Right up, I know I could be the case. Gag, punch it, I don't punch a clock. Gucci, sparkling, I'm on my sock. Jeans, swollen, I walk with a knot. They know I'm drip when I step out the house. I said, hey, yo! I see what he family. What's going on, YouTube? You know the vibes, man. It's your youngin' with the hoes. So it's Keyshawn, and we back with another banger. Yes, sir. Man, as y'all seen by the title of this video, by if you watch that beginning of that video, if you watching this part of the video, you already know what it is, what it is, Keisha, new play alert. Yes, sir, what you say, Keisha, I said new play alert. Yes, sir, Azul Carter, man, been a long process with this, so I'ma talk while y'all watch my man play in AAU. Now, man, reason why I want to do this because I ain't going to do this a lot in these videos. I promise you, man, this took me three weeks to do this, man. Three weeks to do this project. I was in the lab writing stuff down, to, you know, doing the ingredients, making sure I had everything proper, making it realistic as I can because you know how I am about this realism with these stories, these videos, this game. Man, but on a serious note, be honest with me, y'all. Is 2K22 dead? Like, let's think about it. Is it dead? Man, I don't know, man. I can't lie to y'all. One side of me saying yeah, then the other side saying me no. And it's really saying no, it's just missing something on 2K22. On both sides, you know, I didn't play current gen, I didn't play next gen. Yes, I played current gen too. It's just like the game is separated, and I don't know why. Like, I really really don't understand like it's missing something like 2k is missing something i'm not one of these people who like franchise fatigue because i've been playing 2k since 2k 2 2k the first 2k but i'm not gonna say it's franchise fatigue i just feel like it's missing something you know what i'm saying and that's just me now tell me what you think down below if you think the same or you probably like nah key you just tripping that's fine i'm tripping I'm tripping, but hey, it's just me. But as I said, the new player alert, Azul Carter, man. If y'all heard me talk about him, man, this man, I promise y'all, bro, this person, I ain't gonna lie, I've been wanting to make a point guard for so long for y'all, even on 2K21. Remember, I told you I wanted to make one, but 2K21 was build a power forward guard, so I didn't make it. 
So this year, 2K point guards are back. So I made one. I've been wanting to make one. But this is a Zul Carter, man. I got two game plays for you. So just bear watch it. The episodes ain't going to be long. But I just want to give y'all the story of Azul Carter. Here we go. My name is Azul Carter. I became an overnight global celebrity. I went from being a nobody to becoming one of the beloved prospects to come out of 2020. See, I grew up watching Ray John Rondo. That's why I always wore the number nine. But my teammates were lately, so I reminded them of De'Aaron Fox and John Morant. After watching them boys play, I could see the resemblance. See, man, after playing on the AU team in the summer, I went from probably just happy with an offer to JUCO or community college to receiving scholarships to Division I schools. These are just a few I've received. Well, tonight I have a big game. It's my debut for a new school against the number two in the class. But let me get ready for class. And with that, hopefully you guys are ready to join me on my journey to the NBA. And welcome to my life, the life of Azul Carter. Now, my first game was against Jalen Green. This was going to be a tough one. We all know Jalen Green was number two in the class, and I was only ranked number 28 at the time. I had to make a lane for myself. What was the best way to go? We start off the game with Jalen Green snapping ankles, taking my teammates' ankles. I told him to switch, but right when we switch, he said, what is that going to do? Splash on me. Hey, what's up? But I couldn't let him just take my man's ankles. So I had to show him who I was and what my lane stands for. It means stands for taking fly. Had to go airborne. You fell. He couldn't stop me. But right after I scored, I said, no, nah, I got to get another one. So right when Jalen Green scored, I showed off again and said, hold on. Tell him he can't hold me. He can't hold me. I had to get the dunk. But Jalen Green wasn't no slouch. He said, anything you can do, I can do better. But I was like, nah, this is going to be a war. But every time he scored, I had to score. Or I had to create a bucket. So I asked my big man to set this big body Miyagi. I threw the whole oh, chicken noodle soup. Yeah, no. Had to. But... Right when I got out the game, I got one more bucket. It was good to the second quarter. We down. I said, no, sir. No, sir. Let me get that lay. You're too little. After that, God took it out the game. Came back the third quarter down by, God dang, 18 points. So now, I got to turn into savage mode. I turned on the beast mode. I went to full demon effect. I said, ball, I wanted to score because my teammates was not scoring. Had them jump. Green you light. know what that is. Green light. But Jalen Green was no slouch. I did a stupid foul and they called a continuation. But like I said, when Jalen Green scored, I had Green to light. score. So I went right back down there. Got the ball back. I had to bring my team back. We was only down 18. And I said I couldn't allow that to happen. Jalen Green helps. I pass it to my teammate. Oh, but you see, they kept fighting. But look who got open. Every time he scored, I tell y'all. Every time he scored, I had to score. This was a, a conference game. I had to know that everybody was watching the scouts, so I had to let them know who I was. He scored. I had to score. Jalen Green was like, who is this kid? He know who I am now. So I had to go crazy. Hit him with a step back. He gave me too much room. That's that green light. Yeah, Lord. Oh, but once again, they start trying to go up. Get that out of here. My big man was going to work. All I had to do was see my teammate down the court. And you know that's that green. I couldn't just let it happen. But Jalen Green again. Cash. So you know. Like I said. Every time he scored. I had to make a statement. And I made a statement. Ah! I told you. Every time he scored, I had to score. 
after that bucket, it was over for the boys. We didn't lose. You see the score. I took the game after that one. They didn't know what to do. I made a point tonight. Put my team on my back, and I said, let's run that. But uh, shout out to Jalen Green. And you know the whole prolific prep. See you, Jalen Green, soon. <laughs> you will. Man, after a successful win two days ago, I had class today, but my mind was ready for the game. I know I had to be focused on books because education was a must in my household. My parents did not slack on that. My grandma and my my dad, they never wanted me to slack in the book, so... I make sure I get my grades to stay up sharp because I do want to end up going to a school and not just because of a basketball scholarship. I also want to go for academics or at least have, you know, A's or B's to at least be successful. Um, But tonight game I got against IMG. I ain't going to act like I'm not nervous playing against another team that I'm so used to these five star recruits and I'm not used to being a five star until this year. It's a little bit nervousing, but, you know, I'm finna head class, and then I see you guys later for my, you know, my big game against IMG. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one. Hope you guys ready for that one, because I am. See you later. Next game was against IMG. Man, we started off strong, you know, came in here with a mindset. Let's just win this game. This IMG was one of the best high school teams in the nation. And they showed it this night. You know, we had to start off strong. I had to go to the lane, give me some draw contacts, and made an N1. Went back next play. After me fouling, had two fouls, they took me out the game. Had to come back in. And we're down two. So, you know, like I said, I had to stay in attack mode because this team was a stronger team. Ended up getting my alley-oop tips, but left my three-man open Madison Durr with the three. Had to get back into it, so Ben set me a big body Miyagi. You know what I had to do, feed Ben. Too little, and almost missed it. Oh, wait, but he ended up finishing it for me. But, next play. They was not giving up yet. IMG was on a mission. Brandon with a nice layup for the boys. Had to put them up. Then Madison came back with a nice pick. And whoop, hit that boy with a three. Yes, yeah, sir. You know, Zach, Eddie, from, he was trying to get my man in the boost. I said, no, sir, let me get that from you. On a fast break, you know what I had to do. I stopped green and light. And green light. You already know. Lux play, I said, hold on, we still, we still ain't put up, we ain't put enough points on their head, so let me go and get past you real quick, and <laughs> you know I gotta take flight, you leave me that lane, I'm dunking, uh, next big body, y'all, you had to throw it to my bowl down there, Middleton with the easy bucket, pick and roll, but they wasn't giving up, Jay is said, nope, and then I said, boy, you couldn't, you really think you're going to make that? I see my man Reed at the three line. You know what that be? Cash. Can't stop us. We start getting momentum right here because he tried to come here and I had to get that shit out of here. What the hell wrong with you? And who down court again? That same man. Yes, sir. You know the vibes. But, you know, Jaden Springer didn't take kindly of that block, and then he didn't like it when I got the block, so he gave it to Jaylen. Damn. Called a timeout immediately. They start getting momentum out that dunk. I ain't going to lie. Like you see, Jemias Ramsey with a bucket. Boy, these boys was not playing. Jalen Johnson took over the game after this. I'm not going to lie. I picked up a dumb foul, and that was my fourth foul so I had to be careful and them boys knew I had four fouls and they knew how much of a star I was in this game so they was gonna try to get me fouled out as you can see the next play they pass it straight to my man I cannot do nothing but just stay there so next play they go right back to me they want me to they want me to play physical so I had to just play sag offs you know gave them so much room made another bucket Jaden Springer started going to work on this play I got so frustrated that I made a, a stupid turnover right here, and look who got it. Jalen Johnson in the tied the game up. 
Now it is officially a game. Now they take the lead. I had to go to the lane and get me another bucket because I only had 10. And I had five rebounds. Look at this. Look at how they was doubling me. So I'm trying to pass it. Mm -mm. Block my shot. Zach was, I'm thinking Zach finna make the pass. I'm playing tough defense. I gotta start getting a little bit physical because it's almost the end of the game. But look at the pass he just threw. I knew it was tough. They were not letting us come back from this point deficit. So I'm like trying anything to bring my team back. He jumps. I pull up midi. Had to. First bucket had to get back. Had to bring my team back. I still pull up to you leaving me hand down. Man down. You had to shoot it. But they was not done right there. We get a nice little we get a nice little defensive going press. But I try to get the steal. Could not get it. Went down court. Jaden passes to Zach. Eddie can't foul. Got an easy dunk. It was so tough. Down 33. I mean down 100. Down seven with 33 seconds left. Couldn't do nothing but go to the bucket and get an easy foul in one. Try to put a, put us down by four. Now with the fouling game. Unfortunately, I had no choice to do what I had to do, and I took the consequences of fouling, and I fouled out. After that, the boys took the game, they won by four. Shout out to the boys at IMG, I will see y'all soon. Jaden and Jalen, yeah, we'll see y'all soon. Let's take two on a chase, put a fuck button in place. Tired, dragon, skirt, leave a trace. Right there, I know I could be the case. Gag, punch it, I don't punch a clock. Gucci, sparkling, I'm on my sock. Jeans, swollen, I walk with a knot. They know I'm drip when I step out the house. Just hit them out of